Hey folks, welcome back. So I told you in the last video that I recently came back from a conference called Influencer and funny thing happened at the conference. I actually had my bag stolen so I was just working on my computer like I'm doing right in front of you and someone came over and actually this person needed a seat so I took the bag that was on the seat and placed it right behind me. and. As I was about to leave, the next thing you knew, I turned around and my bag was gone. Man, that freaked me out a little bit because in most situations, I can remain super, super calm. And those were one of those situations that I just remained super calm. But anyways, we found the bag. There wasn't really anything important in there other than my passport, which I hope at that point that he didn't take or she didn't take. And that wasn't taken, so I was happy about that. And my car keys weren't taken. But... I had my clothes in there and some books and one of the books that I had was Think and Grow Rich. If you haven't read it yet, then I really suggest you read it because it's a great book on motivation and inspiration and I think that everybody should read it. But anyways, I felt like the person would have gotten more value from stealing that book which is worth a lot to me of all the knowledge that's inside. But they didn't take it. They just decided to continue on with their lives, which is quite quite a shame. Um, if you don't really read right now, then I really suggest you do, because that's something that I found. I found the value in getting little bits and nuggets of information from from books, and especially the self help ones, because we can all be better people. But anyways, you can see for today I have my iPad and actually what we're going to do is we're going to run into our live app. That means I'm going to show you not the app that we're building, but the end result. This app is already on the App Store, so go ahead, Google Play, Apple, App Store, and download it and see how it, use, and see how it works. But anyways, for today, we're just going to go through search results there's some things that we have to do and that specifically we're going to import the overlay that we added in the last video and we're going to add alert from a react native so that's that the next thing we want to do is we want to add form item and input from native base and then in the bottom here I also wanted to add message equals an empty string because we're gonna have a mess we're going to be able, want to be able to message people and this message variable or state is what, what we're going to use to keep track of it next thing i want you to do is you see this open message modal well we can't do set state to message info visible because that will open up the info screen you know the the modal that displays all the information about the person so we want to do message modal visible and same with this close message modal and when we want to add message is an empty string because if they open it and type something in they decide not to send it we're just gonna we're, if they if they hit send then we're just gonna empty out the message so the next time they message them again it's gonna start from something new if they close the modal that means that i guess they want to discard the message so i guess they want something new we also want to add this close message modal. I, I know we have to. I don't know why. It's inexplicable, actually. I don't know. I think it's because at one point it was just sending messages without me wanting to do that or closing the modal or not opening the modal. I don't remember, but I needed these two close message modal functions in order to work. So I'm just adding it there. We have to add some new functions. And these are the functions. Send message, get thumbnail image, and no dancers. So the no dancers is what we're gonna show when we run out of card swipes. Um, it's gonna be at the bottom of the deck, and it's also gonna be shown when there's no results. The send message is going to send a message. If there was a problem sending a message, this is where we used alert to show that there was a problem sending a message. If there wasn't, then we we would we do the message sent, and then we just call close message modal. So thumbnail image that explains itself, 
it shows the image of the user. And that's basically it for new functions. The next thing I want to add is I want to add this new overlay. So we're finally using the overlay from what we added at the, in the last video. And this is pretty much going to give us a box that allows the user to input their message. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So again, if it shows up in the else if, it has to show up in the else as well. So we're just adding that there, same thing. So that's basically it for our search results.js in today's video. Let's hop on over to our iPad and you can see that I have this Dancing Nomads over here. Let's just click that to open it up. So I already had it open, but this is our search form. And you can see that I have put placed a location over here in Birmingham, Alabama. That's where I live right now. And you can see that we have the same thing, though they might be a little bit different than what we see in our code in our local uh, local app right now, but it'll end up like that at one point. So with these variables, with these criterias, criterias, criterions, criteria is a plural. Anyways, if I click search, and person will come up. And this is live, this is what you'll see if you actually go to the website, download the app and put in Birmingham, Alabama. But you can see that on the upper right, there is this little send symbol. And if we click on that send symbol, then it'll open up this overlay. And this is the overlay that we want to do. So if we add a message, we get to click send message, but I'm not going to do that. If we click that down, that message should empty. So as you can see, if you open that up, that message is gone. So that's basically all I wanted to go through in today's video. If you like it, then please rate, comment, subscribe, and join that mailing list if you haven't already because you're going to get a lot of, well, first of all, you're going to get the code to everything that we're doing so you can follow along. And if you could also use that code to help you with your own projects. But anyways, there's one last thing. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram, donlee50, D-O-N-L-E-E-5-0. Uh, people have been sending me messages and questions about problems they're facing with regards to coding and stuff like that, even their life life problems, and I, I kind of act like a, like a therapist. <laughs> to say the least, I don't know why that happens. But anyways, if you have any questions regarding coding or life, then you feel free to message me. I am most active on Instagram, actually. So do that. Join our mailing list, and please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.